Good morning. This is Plain Jane coming at you from my own kitchen in rural Virginia. Have you ever been overcome with negative emotion like uh, envy, hatred? You can feel it physically. It takes over your being. Someone has something that's rightfully yours, perhaps, or so you believe. You can't think of anything else. At, time, it, at times, it's the only thing that matters. So how about the racist person? Imagine what that's like. I'm talking about the real racist, the person who hates those of other races or who believes them to be inferior in some way. They were created in the image of the Most High God, but they don't realize that everyone else was too. They don't realize that, that all the races came from the same place. They allow a poison plant to take hold in their brains until the root ball is a tangle, except on the inside. And they are anything but free. Maybe they allowed their parents' poison to enter their minds and stay. I can't help it. I was raised that way. Now, how many times have you heard that one? I would like to point out that the person who says that does a bunch of things that they were not raised to do. Like maybe smoke dope or eat sushi Imagine live, living locked up in fear of discovery. People are going to find them out and find out what they really are like. And lean in, folk. Come close, please. I'd like to tell you something if you don't already know it. It is no longer socially acceptable to be racist. And they know it. Some people announce who they are. Charlottesville had some of those people come in a couple of years ago and take over the downtown area wearing their crazy costumes and they're carrying dangerous toys. Other people spend a lot of time and energy pointing at other people, say, racist over there. No, it's over there. It's back there. It's, oh, my opponent is a racist. All of that. And... If they're really not racist themselves, why do they spend so much time publicly denying what no one has actually accused them of? As they say in New Hampshire, live free or die inside. So pity them, forgive them. If they hate you, it's on them. If you hate them back, it's on you. Till next time. Like, share, subscribe. I don't know if you can subscribe because I haven't really set up this channel very well yet. But you can try. I have to go pick my son up at the farmer's market.